Around 3000 BC, the Egyptians would revolutionize the literary world by producing a smooth, flexible writing material, papyrus. Papyrus that could retain ink without a blur. Papyrus would remain in use for longer than any other materials in the history of written documents. Especially only paper papyrus. So we take it all like this, all of it. And the inner white part is exclusively only paper. So if we take all the skin, we see the inner white part like this way here. For example, if we try to hammer the inner white part gently, not very hard, just prepare it to be flattened because it, it contains the amount of sugar and water. So we we'll try to take both of them away like this. And the other one. This is very simple process made the layer is ready so that's why we have a flexible layer a bit stronger but the other one is not at all very easy to make. Okay. That's because of the water amount is still inside. Okay. Okay. So we take this one to put it in the water here for six days or ten which is the difference of the color. Six days to have a white color the brown will be ten days. After six or ten days we take the layers out of the water we start to put them in two different directions here in this way. One side horizontal, other is vertical. Of course, we assume that we fill all the spaces like this, but to just show the people how it's made in the first place. And after that, we're going to have another four or five days in the press machine to stick together. How are we going to stick together? This piece of clothes will be uh, actually absorb the water out of the lake, so it should be dry. Okay. When it dries, the water out, sugar is still in, will be natural flow, and the paper will be like this. Okay. This is the paper papyrus, papyrus, the first paper in the human history, which actually we put the history of everyone in place, like painting, drawing, decorating, manuscripting, you know, things. The story behind me starts the first one, it's called the final judgment, which can speak about the afterlife. So that's why we can see here the scale of justice, which we have the heart and the feather. The heart it says what the person done in his first life, and the feather speak about justice. How the person can be known as good or bad. If the heart of the person is heavier than the feather, means the person is guilty. And yum yum, the other punishment eats the heart. But if the feather is heavier, means the person is good. And when he's good, his name should be written in a paper like this, papyrus. I demand to you here, which is in Jacuzzi, the ancient Egyptian science uh, of writing of philosophy, and that's how we're the kind of power of the picture. Yeah. The second good picture, very good one here, is the first recorded love scene in our history, which is between King Tutankhamun and his wife. We can see over to each other the plant of papyrus and lotus flower. If you remember, know, lotus flower is one of the most important flowers we have in our history here. And in the book well here we can see two figures here that we have Taurus, one, two, three, another Taurus, that's the first of directions, north, south, east, west. His mother Isis, the goddess of love and beauty, she is represented four seasons, summer, spring, autumn, and winter. Funny thing is, if we count the people, we find them 12 repairs of months of the year, or the hands 24 repairs of the hours of the day. We count the two that will cross 24 will be 36, and that means actually we speak about weeks of the week. Because the week actually was 10 days per week, and we have 36 multiplied by 10, so we have 360 plus 5 ceremony days, 365 days per cycle. Okay. 